Keenum first. Hey, I'm Keenum. Let's talk about time zones. Because the Earth spins and it takes about 24 hours in one day for the Earth to make one full rotation or revolution about its axis, that's an advanced science concept. Hopefully you've been learning in your science classes. And also because the Earth spins around the sun, we have different time zones. Not just here in America, but all across the world. We'll just talk about North America today. Ah! Okay, so if you are calling a friend from Boston and you are in Reno, Nevada, near the capital, Carson City, there is a three hour time difference. In Boston on the East Coast, people follow the Eastern Standard Time. Take a look at the map. And in Reno, folks are in the Pacific Standard Time. That's three hours behind. So if your friend in Boston is eating dinner at six o'clock, well, you're gonna be calling them at 3 p.m. from Reno. Hey, Pirate Sam, I'm in Reno. Who Where is are this? you? Are you in Boston oh. right now? It's Kingdom. It's too early. I'll call you later. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. We could try Pirate Sam again later. The fact of the matter is, because of the time zones and daylight savings times, which Arizona and Hawaii currently do not follow, but that complicates it, so we'll put that on the back burner for now. Ah! We have to make sure that we understand what time zone, and you will always use this skill the rest of your life before you call somebody, before you get on a plane, before you have a virtual meeting with a friend or a coworker or a boss. What's that time again? Eastern Central Mountain. What's that time again? Pacific, Alaskan, or Hawaiian. What's that time again? Eastern Central Mountain. What's that time again? Pacific, Alaskan, or Hawaiian Gonna call my mom today Hanging out in Tampa Bay Gonna see Grandpa next month Surfing outside of LA Gonna call my sister and her friends Up north where the snow never ends Gonna see my grandma next year In Sacramento Sacramento What's that time again? Eastern Central Mountain What's that time again? Pacific, Alaskan, or Hawaiian What's that time again? Eastern Central Mountain What's that time again? Pacific, Alaskan, or Hawaiian Time zones. I'm in Atlanta right now, and I'm gonna call my friend the Greater Gator. He's in Salt Lake City. Let's see, it is... I was looking at a watch, but I don't have one. I've got my phone to tell me what time it is. It's one o'clock in Atlanta. That means if I'm in the Eastern Standard Time Zone and the Greater Gator, he's in Salt Lake City, He's on Mountain Standard Time, so he is two hours behind. If it's one o'clock in Atlanta, what is one o'clock minus two hours? That's right, it's 11 o'clock. Hey, Greater Gator, are you up for a chat right now? We've got that meeting with the folks over at... Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Greater Gator's not available either. I had a lot of fun talking about time zones with you, but don't go away. We've got one more segment for you. If you want more, ask your mom or dad to go to the link below and you can join the Greater Gators class or just buy us a cup of joe. See you next time. God bless. Let's suppose you have a flight out of Vancouver and you want to get to Toronto. Let's assume your flight leaves Vancouver at 2 p.m. and Let's assume it's a three hour flight. This is advanced, but don't get scared. If it's a three hour flight, that means you will get to Toronto, not at 2 p.m., but let's see, two to three to four to five. You'll get there at 5 p.m. according to Vancouver and their time. But in Toronto, 
They are three hours ahead. That's right, Toronto follows the Eastern Standard Time, whereas Vancouver is Pacific Standard Time. So, if you land at 5 p.m. according to Vancouver, well, according to the Eastern Standard Time Zone, that means you gotta add three hours, so six, seven, eight, it's eight o'clock in Toronto when your airplane lands. Whoa!